of his eye. Sit right down, we're gonna give you the scoop with Ryan Pfeiffer and Lisa Dupe. Stammer, lemma, ding dong, loop de loop. This is the story of a guy named Mr. Boop. You're listening to Being Mr. Boop. Evidence that you don't have to have different political views to have vastly different worldviews. Um, what? Thank you, Lisa, for that <laughs> tagline. <laughs> My name is Cadence Quick, and I am Mr. Boop. My name is Ryan Pfeiffer, and I am Mr. Boop. Oh, Ryan, it's Wednesday, October 14th, 2020, and today we're reading the 181st ever Mr. Boop strip. What happens in today's Mr. Boop? They're kissing. They're kissing? Oh, I, I, oh. hang on. Are they? I haven't, scro- I haven't scrolled down the strip yet. Uh, yes, they are. Whoa. Four panels. They're still on the couch. The couch is um, drawn in uh, considerably less detail. Yeah, the couch has just become two lines. Actually, but... mm, yeah, no, yeah, it is less detail. I, it, I mean... It's it's a little closer to the to the so, center of the couch. Like yeah, it's zoomed I, in a tiny bit. I think realistically we could say that like the the couch cushions are just gone and it's it's a little bit more zoomed in and like that kind of accounts for all the lack of detail because we don't see the lines in the center, but that's covered up by uh mm. Alec and Liz. We and it's see... also like stylistically, this one compared to the last one seems to be focusing more on the characters rather than the setting. Yeah, well, I don't think there's any actual <laughs> in in world explanation for the la- lack of detail, but I think you you could say like since it is more zoomed in, if the couch could if the if the throw pillows are gone, then. And, it, and the fact that it's zoomed in, there doesn't need to be as much detail. Mm-hmm. Um, since there was, it was like, there's, there wasn't any texture on the couch other than like two little dots, which were on the far sides of the couch. So if you zoom in, those dots are gone. So then it is just plain white and you really, and really all that would be depicted is the two lines if there's no problems. Right. Um, anyway, they're, they have their arms around each other, um, Alex's arms are considerably like long and and gibbon like, I think. Um, <laughs> in this in this picture, yeah, he's not really used to to drawing. Uh, uh, not detailed, um, elaborate anatomy. Mm-hmm. They're also um facing each other more. Their knees are towards each other more um yeah rather than it's, just it's sitting on the couch it's an awkward position to have to draw i do not envy it <laughs> <laughs> um not because of the situation but because of the the pose specifically like yeah the way the the knees are both different because they're because fa- they are facing but it's not like it's a it's a fluid position right yeah um they would not be holding this position throughout the entirety of no. the strip if it was fully drawn it every single be, panel. It would be weird if they were. If, if, yeah. if, if every panel sh- had this shot and they were, and and he just used basically the same pose for all four shots, they would they would look much <laughs> weirder. Would, yeah, it wouldn't make much sense. It looks fine now it could make sense they would it it would just color them in a really (laughs) weird light yeah (laughs) you wouldn't hold this pose while they would look like they would look psychotic (laughs) yeah um they're both blushing so i guess they're embarrassed to be kissing uh there's smart flies in between them there's smart flies in between them (laughs) heart flies i'm not smart (laughs) flies um I guess we don't need to comment on this, but Liz is wearing her bracelet, and she was in the last strip as well. I guess she's just always wearing that now. I don't know if she always was. I don't... <laughs> she... She... You know, it's interesting. I don't know if we commented on, on, on this earlier, but she did not originally have the bracelet, and then just suddenly one day she ha- had a bracelet on, and, and she's, had, also it. she's had it on a, every day since. I'm taking a peep. Uh, yesterday's episode, 180, 
Uh, the th- she has her bracelet except in the third panel. Uh, I think it's just on the other hand is all. Oh, I okay. No, I'm dumb. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah. Uh, I guess that's that's it for panel one. Panel two. Or it's also it's the flapper shot. Panel two close up of uh Liz specifically, but since she is kissing Alec, we see like a little bit of his like nose in front of her face. So yeah. he's he his nose is in the foreground, yes. which means he's leaning his head counterclockwise. Yeah. While Liz is leaning clockwise. They're they're like dueling noses. Like it, I don't, I don't know. That, that that's just what happened. This is a weird strip for me because I've never <laughs> I've never kissed anyone. So this is like I don't know what I can't I can't really comment on like. <laughs> <laughs> oh is this wow! Accurate? I, don't I can't know. believe Alec is a counterclockwise leaner. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that's <laughs> like is something. this is this an accurate depiction? I have no frame of reference. <laughs> um. Because usually this type of stuff isn't so focused on. Like it's, well, <laughs> there's other stuff that it, that it is focused on, but he, but it's not anything that it's like. It's 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 it's. Well, the other thing is usually when before when this type of stuff was shown, it was like they're cartoons. It's it's rare to. It's like now they're drawn stare. realistically. It's rare to stare at a drawing of two people kissing for longer than 10 seconds. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, the the holes in this podcast are are are, are starting to grow bigger with 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 the final season. <laughs> um as as the strip gets like less uh joke based because originally the strip was more in like a garfield type format which is uh, (laughs) well anyway um she's still blushing and she's she we're we're seeing her from side profile so it is just a close-up and the couch is not depicted because it is a close-up so there's no background details which i guess is what he does and if it was depicted it would also be like below the frame sort of maybe um Depends. I think you could argue that. Yeah. Okay. I think. Uh, if we're so, if it's literally just zoomed in, then I think we would see the mm. the. Couch, but if the, the if the, the camera couch, was angled, yes. In a different if it's a way, camera, like if it movement, was looking up a little yeah. bit more. Yeah. If it's like a camera shot, then yes, I think I think it could be argued that it would be out of frame now. Um. She's got a thought bubble that reads. This is so nice, Electries. <laughs> um, panel three. It's sort of the same thing, but from Alex's perspective. You see a- another zoom in, which you can barely see Liz in like the left side. Yeah, it's. I I was gonna say a reverse shot, but it's not reverse yeah. because they're. It's. It's it's just a it's pan. They pan it's, over. Yeah, it's basically the same zoom in, but this time we're focusing on Alec. Um it's like, those still in the foreground. It's it's structurally like like um in the way that the strip is laid out, like structurally it's it's a reverse shot, but it's not like technically a reverse shot. Mm-hmm. Um if you know what I mean. Uh and I hopefully you do because I'm the one describing it, and that's all you get. <laughs> um, he's also blushing still. They're all, they're all everyone's blushing in every panel. I mean, we don't see the one the people that are off panel slightly. We don't really see their blushing, but we it's can like just implied. assume. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's implied. What is Alec thinking? He's got a thought bubble in this panel. Um, he goes, "We're kissing with two electro points." Yeah, panel four. Uh, same shot as the previous panel, but, like, they're kind of lowering in frame, like, well, it could also be read that the, that the camera is panning up a little bit, but I don't, but, Mm -hmm. 
I don't think that's how it's supposed this time to be read. we see Liz's hand on Alex's cheek and they are right Her... they have both opened their mouth slightly to reveal some tongue oh uh, yeah oh yeah it's like getting so it's I think that kind of um not imply suggests that 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 the camera is not panning up, but that they are lowering down. Right. Um, and there's three heart flies above, uh, like to 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 the upper right of Alec. Yes. Um, I don't like this strip. <laughs> <laughs> it sort of has a little bit more of that deadpan where it's just like. Okay, joke. you know what? <laughs> You're right. This has a little bit more of a joke than the previous strip. This actually, this does have like humor in it, where the right. previous strip doesn't really at all. In fact, the it kind of sticks out in that way. The addition of the thought bubbles gives it humor. Yes, where like they're the, sort of just the, he's able to insert that sort yeah. of like his 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 comedic writing style into the in in there. Whereas the previous strip, like the more I think back on that previous strip. The more it really does stand out as like the fact that there's no dialogue means he he's not really it really only has narrative function like there's mm -hmm. I just can't there's I can't really see any reading of that where there's there's a straight up like there's there's any sort of comedy in this of the strip itself mm -hmm. like this definitely feels like a follow up to the previous one. Cause it's it's the same scene. Yeah, no, it's a different. It's a it's it's, <laughs> it's a, a different, different day. day. <laughs> they just got back. <laughs> um. So yes, this strip is better than the last one. I'd say just because it's funny. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, I just don't like where it's going. <laughs> <laughs> I like Alex's weird gibbon arms in panel one. Mm -hmm. Um. And that's it. I yeah. guess that's yeah, all that's, I like uh, about it. That's Mister Mister Boop One Eighty One. That's all I like about it. <laughs> He's. I mean, yeah, we already we already commented on this, but the, the, I think that I think panel one is probably the one of the most complex type of like shots he's had to draw so far mm -hmm. when since since he's been drawing realistically in fact in in previous strips in this format i mean if you look at the one where they're in the park they're when it's when it's zoomed out they're still kind of drawn in like a cartoony sort of way but this is like almost looks rotoscoped you know uh -huh. like he, i feel like he must be looking at a direct reference of like do you think he was watching people kiss <laughs> as he drew this? Maybe. <laughs> like I, I know that some artists do the do the thing where they just like you know timer mode on your phone, but you can't really do that for like a kiss scene. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, well, it's possible. Yeah. Uh, you've been. Well, oh, you're hosting this one. Oh yeah. Uh, you've been listening to Being Mr. Boop. I must boop what I must boop. <laughs> you can visit the Are show's all of these by Lisa? No, that one was Sophia. Oh, okay. No, I take it back. That one's good. <laughs> <laughs> you can visit the show's website at www.beingmrboop.com for our full catalog of episodes and to sign up to host the podcast. For more updates, follow at MrBoopPod on Twitter. Um... I am Cadence. You can find me at Decade Decaf on Twitter, Itch, and Bandcamp. Uh, I'm at Candyman 106 on Twitter and at Semi Sweet Sus for everything else I make. Thank you and good night. Goodbye. <laughs>This podcast was brought to you by the Pitch Drop Podcast Network. Like what you just heard? Support the show by going to patreon.com forward slash pitch drop. And while you're at it, check out pitchdrop.net for more of this and other shows.